Hi, Charles Moment here. Welcome to episode two of my three-part series showing you runaway modifications and additions that owners have made. I hope you get a lot of great ideas. Hope you enjoy it. Basically, uh, what we did, we just wanted to have it uh, enclosed, and I simply asked Steve uh, for a set of the cutouts from mm -hmm. where they made the cubbies, and I just went to Lowe's and picked up a set of, uh, you know, picked up the uh, the hinges, double hinges, and uh, uh, magnetic closure pieces. Right, so they're not going to pop open. Yep, not going to pop open. Keeps everything nice and neat. Excellent idea. Really uh, good. And we've got the red rope light uh, mm -hmm. into astronomy and astrophotography, so when you're at a star party, it's an absolute must and red. Uh, yeah. Got a set of, uh, I just bent a couple of metal, a couple of metal brackets attached them to the back. Yep, someone showed me that. Did you see that on the video I last did. year? Okay. I did. I saw that on the video last year and said, hey, that's an idea. I can do that. And I built the armrest. Yeah. Not, not only will it, uh, it's got a place for your drink, but you've got storage yeah. inside. Wow. And it's nice to have the power in the back too. Four inch memory foam trifold. Okay. So it'll fold up into a couch. Ooh, we want to sit and observe TV. So you have all you have maximum headroom there because yeah. it's right on the floor and then she's got the rubber mat. Is it all the whole length? Yeah. Yes, but it yeah. also adds a little bit extra cushion to the memory foam. You sleeping on this oh. is like sleeping in my own bed. Right. Yeah. It's basically a craftsman truck box uh -huh. for a mid-sized truck. And I used U bolts to, uh, to mount it to the mm -hmm. uh, luggage uh, to right. the rack we already had on the front. Yeah. I could have slid the rack forward, you know, two or three inches and had a lot more clearance. Uh huh. Uh, would have added a little more tongue weight, but that wouldn't have made that much of a right. difference. Right. And it's lockable. And it's lockable. I was just going to say that's another great thing. Happy to, how tall are you? Uh, five four. Okay, and you, and you get the kayaks up there just fine. Uh, yeah, I took the low end because the campers kind of angled a little bit lower. Yeah. So it made it very easy for me to reach up there. He did the other end. And you just tie them down and they're not going to go flying off. Tell us what you did here. So we've got actually a, a, a futon. We mm -hmm. got it at IKEA, which is uh, folds into a couch. Okay. And when we're not using it as a couch, I took a four by eight sheet of plywood, ripped mm -hmm. it down the center, so that I could easily fold it and slide. And it as a piano it. hinge. As a piano hinge. Okay. So I could slide it behind the couch when we're right. not using it as a bed. We also have a memory foam mattress that we keep in the in the SUV uh -huh. and uh, pull that out when. We're, when we're uh, ready to sleep at night. Alrighty. So the other thing that I did, um, we've just got curtains and hooks sure. like, like a lot of folks yeah. that you see. Uh -huh. uh, but this also has the uh, the battery with the inverter in it. Okay. So I can run uh, offshore power through the battery. So I've got my TV, microwave, my son, he bought me a Keurig for Christmas. Right. He installed a Series XM uh, satellite radio. Oh, okay. And that just uh, runs off the 12 volt. Film. So this is the articulating hitch, and so wherever this vehicle goes, this the camper goes with it. And, and what are you towing with? This is a Nissan Xterra. Okay, and it has no trouble pulling this. And then I went to a tractor store. Yeah. Bought the box. It locks. And it locks. And this is where now my battery. Mm -hmm. and my NOCO battery charger sits. Yeah, the NOCO, that's a great idea. Out of the weather, and it's also secured yep. with, with the lock. I can carry my gas can, 
a few other items mm -hmm. in here. I don't really put a lot of weight. You want to add to the tongue weight, and plus this box is steel; it's not aluminum, right. so it weighs a little bit more yeah. than, than than your average toolbox. Right. Box. Yeah. And so you got the Rhino rack. The Rhino rack. And I, I they they won't make a room for it yet. I don't think. They make a uh, uh, a tent wall. We are at the back end. This is a, mod a this is a modification that you just don't see very often, but we've got a navigator, which is now would be called the XL, and you see something down there with a it's handle. It's got a shelf that just rolls out, slides out like a kitchen drawer. With a handle, and then we've got this is a whole different unit right here. So walk us through it. Okay, this was a chuck box. I did not add it. This was added by Bruce Checka. Okay. When he had the the camper, uh, basically it's built on a on a uh, cargo carrier mm -hmm. and it weighs about 125 pounds so it doesn't exceed the uh, receiver pitch and then I've weighed everything in here to make sure I didn't get any higher than the 150 limit. Okay. We're at like about 135. Uh -huh. This is the stuff I had. The okay. microwave, no. we've got a toaster oven, yeah. we've got the Coleman stove. It just makes it nice. And so what is this constructed out of? This is all lightweight aluminum. Okay. All right. Real lightweight aluminum. So you've got the gas piston arms that oh, yeah. hold it up for you and uh, that's great. And then we got lighting. Yeah. So we have lights inside, mm -hmm. we have um, uh, rope lights along both sides, both walls. Right, it's, we and have that, it's very popular. We have reading lights so that we can read in the evening if we'd like. You got a skylight. And a skylight. Was that already in it? Yeah. It was yeah. in there. And then we Steals also put uh, white uh, lights out here. Mm -hmm. And not only do we have the handicap uh, bar, there. bar there, we also have one on the inside. Oh, yeah. So it bolts through. So it bolts oh, yeah. Through. Oh, great idea. Yeah. And you got a TV? Right. TV. Charge controller and switches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got your electrical. And it gives you us a USB port to charge mm -hmm. electronics. And so you, you added some shelving in there, or oh, he did that? Okay. The, the first shelf was his, and the second, second shelf. shelf. Right. Okay. All right. And so you got a platform for the bed, and uh, that's what we do, and it works great. Oh. You chose to not do the cubbies. Right. Uh, so you have a little dehumidifier. Yep. I, we've got the exact same model. So you're the reason I bought. That okay. One. All righty. <laughs> yep. And you got your plastic bins and a TV. Yep. All right. So you're all set there. So you got the model with. Three windows. And so then you've got a cooler up front. Yeah. The Arctic, yeah, I like so the Arctic brand. When I travel, I don't put anything on, on the rack. I yeah. keep it in the truck. So I've got a tote that I'm going to put on there. It's not the same one you have, but it's a little different one. I yeah. got um, tractor supply. Yeah, you yeah, opted for the racks on the top. Do you have what, what were you thinking about using those for? Maybe a kayak yeah, at yeah. some point. Yeah. I haven't done that. But it's done. It's, yeah, it's there. That's what I thought. I was like, I might as well go ahead and get it now so yes. I have it. The tent has uh, a part that stretches out and they use it to cover up the back door of their runaway. And then they've got this huge tent. Wow, and a vestibule and everything. The TV, the whole bit. What a great solution. You can see that they've got their kayaks up on top. They've got, looks like they've got the standard runaway uh, racks that you can get. You, they, many other brands you can get. And then They've got on the front basket, uh, he's got a bike there. And some people put a bike rack on the back of their camper. And I've got a hitch that goes between the camper and the tow vehicle. And that works out really well as well. Really well as well. So for those kayakers, look at that. Works just fine. And then they've got them strapped down and got a bike there. Looks like it works. You just have to be careful of your weight on the front and the back.